Climate change is on the minds of a, a lot of people, and our rivers are changing, glaciers are melting, uh, the ocean is warming, and so we need to be in a position to predict some of these changes and adapt to them. The ocean is becoming more, more acid, and that affects the food web, and it affects uh, salmon. Salmon rely on the food web uh, during their time in the ocean. Uh, and what are we seeing? We're seeing fish coming back smaller. We're also seeing a lot of variability in survival of fish. And this is a concern for biologists. It's a concern for fisheries managers. So uh, it's really hard to predict returns. But we now have technologies, tagging technologies, sonar, where we can actually get insight into what the fish are doing. Where are they swimming in the river? How many of them actually successfully reach the spawning grounds? These are completely open questions that we're trying to answer. Just by our location, right on the water, we're, we're nimble. So we're able to come up with ideas and deploy field crews within a matter of days or hours. So to address really important, urgent needs, I think a place like the, the Science Center fills a really important niche. I, I've been working in the field for over 20 years. I've seen a lot of the North Pacific. Uh, I've seen a lot of salmon rivers. I've worked in Japan, I've worked in the Russian Far East worked in other parts of Alaska, but I think the Prince William Sound region is really unique. I think as a biologist I really appreciate the connection to the community. It's a small, Cordova is a small place, but I think everyone really appreciates salmon and appreciates the natural resources. And so I really like working in that, in that environment. There's a lot of people, I come across people every day that really care about these fish and really care about the health of the, of the system. As a biologist and someone you know, concerned about the future of salmon, I think there's no better place to be.